Okay, number eight asking us to find cosine 11 pi over 6. I want you to find the value and the reference angle for this. And plus, they also want you to draw it in standard position. If you don't want to work with the 11 pi over 6, we can convert it over into degrees by the conversion factor, which is going to be 180 over pi. So if we uh, reduce all that, it's going to give you 330 degrees. So as far as the angle is concerned, 330 would be down here in the fourth quadrant. It goes 0, 90, 180, 270, and 360. So it's going to be in this quadrant here. So this, is, this would be what it would look like in standard position. I'm going to label it as 11 pi over 6 because the original angle was given in radians. So 11 pi over 6 would be that one. We need to find the reference angle. So in order to do a reference angle, you want to make sure that you use this little device here I'll give you to, to uh, show you what the formulas would be. So this right here would be the um, formulas for finding the reference angle depending on which quadrant it ends up in. So you want to make sure that you know these. Okay, so depending on what quadrant it ends up in, this tells you what reference angle formula you're going to use. So in this case, uh, the reference angle is going to equal, it ends up in the, the uh, third quadrant, or fourth quadrant here, so you're going to use 360 minus theta. 360 minus 330 equals 30 degrees. Now, when we put our answer for the reference angle, uh, we're going to express our answer in the same degree measurement as what it has inside here. So because that was in radians, we want to convert 30 degrees back over into radians. You can do that by multiplying by pi over 180. And if you do that, you'll end up with pi over 6. So pi over 6 is your reference angle. Okay. If we want to find the value, remember there's a three-step process we talked about in class with that. The first step would be to find the reference angle. We already got our answer there. The second step would be that you want to apply the trig function to the reference angle. Now in this case the trig function is cosine. So we're going to do cosine of our reference angle, cosine pi over 6. This will allow you to use either the table or unit circle, something like that. So if we do uh, that one, uh, you're going to get square root of 3 over 2 as the value from the table. It's cosine 30 degrees, square root of 3 over 2. Step number three is you're going to apply the appropriate sign depending on which quadrant you're in. And we're going to use all students take calculus for that one. We're in the fourth quadrant. All students take calculus. That means in this quadrant, cosine's positive, everything else is negative. So I don't have to make a sign adjustment for it. I can say that cosine of 11 pi over 6 is equal to, should still remain positive there because cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant. Uh, so square root of 3 over 2 would be the exact value I'm putting here. So again, don't, put, don't use decimals. Make sure you use the exact values.